Good morning, everyone. This time yesterday, we were expecting the $16 trillion mark to be crossed late at night, just after the DNC closed. Oh, -ho, what a shock we got when late in the afternoon, the Treasury announced that we'd already hit $16 trillion, so the news came out before prime time for the DNC. Hmm, that's convenient, isn't it? And by the way, if you were watching the DNC's performance last night, I don't know about you, but I didn't see a single mention of $16 trillion. I didn't see a single mention of, are you better off now than you were four years ago? Well, that's to be expected, I suppose. You play to your strengths, you cover up your weaknesses. And I think that's what the DNC was doing exactly last night. Got some more numbers for you, which I think will have great political impact. 8.3%, that's the jobless rate. We're going to get a new jobless rate come Friday morning. Not likely to go down very much at all. I think that will have political significance. And watch out for this. That's 8.30 Eastern Time, Friday morning, the jobs report. We always say it's an important report. This time, I think it's more important than ever. Another number, 382. That is the price of regular gasoline averaged out across the nation. $4 gas has arrived in all of the big population states. California, Illinois, New York, you name it, the big population states, they have $4 gas. Surely that is going to have political significance as well. So it's wide open, isn't it? Here we go. We're, what, uh, 62 days to the election now. That's less than nine weeks. And there's all these factors coming into play. Fascinating stuff. We're covering it, of course. Not to mention the stock market. Why isn't the stock market bouncing when everybody thinks that Ben Bernanke is going to print a ton of money and Mario Draghi is going to print a ton of euros because of weakness in Europe and weakness in America? Why isn't the market bouncing higher? Why not? Maybe they don't think that printing money is the answer. How about you? Join us in three hours, full show, 9.20 Eastern.